I would say it changed dramatically. I mean, because you're used to, like, when I was younger, before I started modeling, you're picking up your teen photos, your 17s, and you're looking at these photo shoots, you're looking, this is so glamorous, this is amazing, look at the lives, like, these people lead. And then say, like, you, then you're going to, like, a shoot. Uh -huh. You're waiting around most of the time. The pictures are just, like, you take, like, a few. And especially, like, going to China, I think that was the biggest eye-opener. Because I'm thinking, like, um, there's America's Next Top Model. And the agency PT, like, I was with them as well. But it's funny because they put them up in this penthouse, you know, and, like, that was what my perception was. Like, I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I did not get a penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> my apartment... I have to say that was one of the best I've ever stayed in, but all things considered, it was still nothing close to a penthouse. It wasn't glamorous. Like we didn't have like very much furniture. There's cockroaches everywhere. You're sitting in a casting van all day. It's not like you go straight to work. Like people ask me, they're like, oh, so when you go to like, you know, like this, like one of these countries when you're traveling, like, do you already have, like how many jobs do you have? I'm like, I don't have any jobs. And like, that's what I thought it was too. I thought you just go straight to work. I just thought it was photo shoots, photo shoots, photo shoots, photo shoots. It isn't like that at all. Like you have to sit around in a casting van all day and then you had to go to these castings. And then you had to like post for clients, which was extremely, like, the most awkward thing I've ever done. And then it was just interesting because it's like, you know, I thought it was going to be so glamorous. And then what turns out is that it's absolutely not. I mean, it's great because I got to meet all these people. Of course, there's uh, like positives to it. I'm not going to completely condemn it. But I mean, come on now, like it was nothing that like what I saw or like what was like portrayed in like the media or magazines, tabloids, anywhere. So it was just interesting to see mm -hmm. like an experience it's for myself. It's like there should be a disclaimer in front of America's Next Top Model being like, this is not the real world. Yeah, exactly. Like we industry. do not get put up like this. Like we, like I remember, I'm trying to think of like the worst apartment I had. Oh, I remember when I was in China two years ago, my bed had bed bugs in it. So we had to go and remove the bed. My like friend Lauren, she's from Toronto. And uh, she was with me, and I remember we lifted up my mattress, and we were screaming, and we threw it down a stairwell. It's still one of the funniest memories ever. And then, you I mean, that was the whole room in bleach. <laughs> oh, and then I got like a new bed, but it's like still like I mean, I had bed bugs. I had bugs all over my legs. I had to go to the hospital. Like, <laughs> you don't see that America's Next Top Model <laughs> that people, girls are getting bed bugs from the beds. I got bed bugs from the beds. It got completely normal to have a cockroach fly by my face. Like it was just. <laughs> Like, you get put up in these living conditions that are less than ideal. You don't know who you're going to live with. You don't know who your roommates are. Sometimes you go and there's, like, cigarettes everywhere. There's mm -hmm. drinks everywhere. Sometimes you have really nice roommates, but sometimes you don't. You just, like, don't know what to expect of this industry. You yeah. never know what to expect.